Hello everyone. We got a lot of stuff to do because I received a big box from Tom with a lot of diecast cars in it and also some figures. Uh, let's start with the first one and that's a 143 model. Now, I don't buy a lot of 143. Actually, I almost never buy a 143. But for this, I make an exception because this is a Opel Manta from a TV show named Maaskantje. If you don't know it, you definitely have to look it up because it's really awesome. It's about a couple of guys and they're living in Maaskantje. And this is uh, the car one of them drives in. Um, cool story about this car because I got it from Tom's now, but it's actually from Armand Model Cars. And I made a video in that store. You can look it up on my Dykes channel. I probably named it uh, Best Dykes Car Store in the World. Got a lot of views. And in that video, well, I actually made a couple of videos there, but in one of those videos, I filmed this car. And when I got home and I looked at my video, I was, uh, I was like, whoa, I should have bought this model. This, so it's really cool when I received this from Tom's and I saw Armand model cars on the back. Yeah, Opel Manta mask, aren't you? Really cool. I'm not going to take it out of the package. Got a license plate. Awesome. Okay, uh, next one already did a short about this about this Pop Race Porsche. Uh, really cool looking Porsche. I like that the wheels in the back are much wider. We have a metal base. Here we have the exhaust in a silver color. I like that. Um, Lanced rear lights. Nice spoiler that is also feels like no, it's plastic. Good interior. You want to see it? Already showed it in a short, but here you can see it. Someone was mentioning in the comments that there was no Porsche logo here in the front. Yeah, there is still room for improvement. You can compare this brand with Mini GT. But just like Mini GT, this brand is... Uh, yeah, not having trouble, but there is room for improvement. This company just started with uh, 164, and I think they are doing really good. Uh, do I have another Pop Race model? Yes, right here, still in the package. Pop Race. Okay, let's get a knife. A little bit better. Very good packaging. Yeah, and the reason uh, I bought this one is because of the surfboards. Look at that artwork on the surfboard. That is just really nice. But the pores itself is also very good looking. I like those rims. Good rolling wheels. Let's have a look at the interior. Yeah, that looks like an authentic Porsche interior with an authentic steering wheel. Got the seats right here. That is looking really nice. Fuel cap here on top. Storage rack for the surfboards. Lanced rear lights and a metal base. Really cool model. Okay, let's place it here. You want to have a look at the surfboards? Well, I'm not going to take them out of the package. We can do it like this. Then, next one is from BM Creation, Land Rover Discovery, and I like the smileys on the package. 
There are also smileys here on top of the Land Rover Discovery 1. Here we got the package. Yep, BM Creation is active on social media. You can look it up. And I actually bought this one because of the accessories. Also because it's a black vehicle. I like black vehicles. But this one comes with a lot of cool accessories. Yeah, there they are. Look at all this. We got an oil can with some toxic waste in it. I like that. Extra set of bumpers. Lots of jerry cans. So that is very cool. I like that, all those accessories. Then we got more accessories right here. We got something for on the roof, uh, some original tires, and also some extra tires that are already on it, maybe to put on the storage truck. We got an axe, we got a shovel, a hammer, another hammer. So lots of extra accessories. Then we have the car right here. Yeah, beautiful discovery. This is looking good. I'm not a super big fan. Those are rolling pretty well, by the way, but uh, of the BM creation letters here on the side, it would be better if it was Goodyear or something like that, Michelin, nice bumper, but uh, yeah, I can show you, you can place another, here it is, here it is, you can place another bumper in the front, not sure if this is click and, no, I think you have to unscrew this also to replace the tires, or maybe you can, yeah, you can slide these tires off and then push the other one on it. Uh, yeah, the smileys are really nice. I like that. Storage rack, spare tire here in the back. Uh, heating in the back window, lens rear lights. Uh, plastic base, but we got a silver detail here on the exhaust. I like that little bit of suspension no not much and we got an opening part with a left hand steering wheel oh that's a little bit difficult with the snorkel here so i'm not going to open that i'm afraid the snorkel will fall off yeah looked like it but overall i think this is a really cool looking land rover discovery okay let's put this back then we have this amazing cool looking tarmac rwb uh, let's take it out of the package. Tarmac, wonderful brand. It's coming with lots of premium stuff. Nice packaging. Comes in a nice display case. Look at this. Hoo -hoo. RWB 964 John Sybil. I'm a big fan of those tires and rims. Low profile. Sick. John Sybil license plate. A license plate makes it so much better. Uh, let's have a look inside. Can we see it? 
Ooh, yes, nice details on the dashboard. You see the colors? That is a serious good looking. Uh, can we take it off the base? Yes, we can do that. Because I'm always wondering if it has a metal base or not. It was pretty expensive, so I hope so. Nope. Plastic base, plastic base. Sometimes Tarmac has a metal base and sometimes it's plastic. Yeah, wheels. The ones in the back are look a little bit wider. I'm not sure, I think they're the same. But what an incredible good looking car. No rolling wheels, nope. I was expecting that. Okay, let's put this right here. And then we're going to the next one, another Tarmac. And this is the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTAM. And I also got, oh, do I get the same? Uh, I think they sent me the same. Oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have to look on the list, sorry for that. Alfa Romeo Agility AM. Oh yeah, I ordered two of those. Yeah, that is also possible that I order two because I think it's so good. Let's see. Yeah, just immediately looking at the base, and this got a metal base and good rolling tires. No brake disc, lanced headlights. We got we got nice side mirror with the Italian flag here on the side. Uh, we even got a roll cage. Authentic steering wheel. No colors on the dashboard, but looks really impressive there inside. Lots of details. And here we got the back. Did a review about the 118 skill version from Burago and Solido. And there is another brand, Auto, I think it's named. Not 100% sure, it's a Razor model, but it's also very good looking. What a fantastic model, I'm really glad with this one. Right here, well, this is the same, so we don't have to take it out of the package. It's always good to have a spare one, you know. Um, then we got another BM Creation. And why about this one? Because it comes with figures. And when it comes with a figure, it's a must have. Let's see. Here we have the figures. <laughs> Look at that hair. What's that? What's that? <laughs> uh, seriously. Club. What is this? What is this? Golden hair? <laughs> uh, okay. This figure looks kind of okay but also mm, they can do a lot better this figure those figures look a little bit cheap okay then we got this card uh, it's like this and you can put a suitcase on it so we got a couple of 
suitcases right here there not sure what this is i have no idea i have no idea okay but those figures meh okay let's see if the car is any good yeah really like the car oh we got steering wheels how cool is that look at this so way that's a lot of steering i like that uh beam creation a mazda demio good rolling wheels uh, the front wheels are really not that good but hey it got steering wheels you know inside looks okay nice steering wheel black good interior and i believe this is the opening part here yep oh that opens really good you can put the suitcases in lanced rear lights damio license plate we got side mirrors but this is a really cool car yeah i like it and uh, in combination with the figures not bad at all okay let's put this here on the side um, okay what's next um another tarmac tarmac gunter works i have no idea what's inside but looks good looks very nice this box Magneto, a legend reborn. Okay. Also comes in a nice uh, display case. Yeah, brake disc, brake claw. I bet the wheels can't roll. But uh, it is looking very nice. 993 remastered by Gunter Wax. That's a sick looking force. Let's take it out. Let's take it off the base. And have a look at probably a plastic base. Yep. Just what I thought. Okay, these tires needs to be a little bit more here on the right side so that is very easy okay same with this one tires here in the back are good oh you see when i'm rolling the wheel oh that's a bit like this the brake disc is not moving same with this one yeah oh look at that interior that is sweet yeah lots of details here on the dashboard in color uh, we also got some color here seat bells here on the seat the fire extincture here in the back, I guess. Yeah, what can I say? What a beauty. And the wheels here in the front are rolling. In the back, they're rolling. Not that good, but they are rolling. So thumbs up for that. Uh, we still have to... So... That's a little bit better to adjust the wheels a little bit cool love it okay, let's put it right here with the box 
and the display case. Uh, what's next? I have another Tarmac right here, but uh, I'm going to do some Mini GTs. Porsche 911 Turbo S, Python Green. Yeah, Mini GT, rolling wheels. Good rolling wheels. Wow. Yeah, beautiful Porsche. I think I also got some other color variations from this model. I believe it's a gray one. Metal base, yeah, rubber tires. Yeah, Mini GT is an awesome diecast brand when it comes to uh, premium diecast. And also the price is uh, pretty reasonable. No paint on the side mirrors. And uh, when it has a license place, it should be totally awesome. Finished. Okay, another Mini GT right here. This is the Nissan Silvia Rocket Bunny in green. Officially licensed products. That is what we like. Cool Rocket Bunny, really nice paint. Some glitter in it. Got the Rocket Bunny here in front. Lanced front lights. Nice intercooler here in the front, I like that. It says www .com, something like that. Big fan of these rims and the color screaming power. Um, yep, right hand drive. So look inside. Good looking steering wheel. Not sure if you can see it that good. I'm going to put it right here. Then I have another Mini GT right here. A Lamborghini Aventador GT Evo in matte black. There are more color variations of this model. Maybe some of them are already released or still have to come. It feels heavy. My God, what a sick, beautiful model. Definitely a car for Batman. Perfect rolling wheels. And there was, ooh, there is something loose in the car. Can you hear it? Steering wheel broke off. Ah, uh, that is no good. Yep, I have to send this back. I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe if I can unscrew this, I can fix it. See, there is the steering wheel. I see what I can do. But I will do that later. Yep, 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 yep. Something like that is possible. Okay, the last Mini GT.
Okay, uh, this is the Land Rover Defender 110, 1989 Camel Trophy Amazon Team France. So, Mini GT already released a couple of these Land Rovers, and this is Team France. There is also a weathered edition, not from Team France, but uh, from the other Land Rover Camel Trophy models they released. Uh, this is pretty cool with the France flag here on the side, I like that. But uh, we definitely also need a weathered version of this model. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, can we have a look inside? Yes. Is there any stuff in the back? No, it's empty. Okay, then I have another tarmac right here. Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance. Sao Paulo Grand Prix 2021 winner, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton is not doing that well anymore. Really strange day. Yeah, that's such a good car. Hey, this I don't like. Because there is no Lewis Hamilton in sight. I don't like that. This is only the car. Um, it feels also really light. Tarmac works. Yeah, this feels metal. Yeah, the car itself looks really good, but the one from Sparky Red Bull, and I also believe the one from Mini GT, has a driver inside, and that is so much better. But overall, a very cool uh, Formula One car. Got the antennas here. That's a good thing. Camera here on top. So it looks pretty authentic with the real one. Definitely have to compare this one uh, with the one from Sparky and also the one from a Mini GT when it's released. I've not ordered the one from Hamilton, but I've ordered the one from Red Bull. But yeah, we can compare, uh, compare them together. Why not? I also have some figures from Mini GT. I'm really into uh, dioramas and figures. So when Mini GT is releasing figures, I'm not going to say a no. Whoa, whoa. Okay, these are die cast. These are not plastic, these are die cast. Yeah. They're also really well done. Yeah, it feels, yeah, this is die cast. Does it say figure, camel trophy crew? Does it say anything uh, about true mini GT? Uh, collectors, model, this product is collector model and is not a toy. Model contains one response, model, blah, 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 blah. It's not saying anything about die cast, but this definitely feels die cast. They're looking really, really cool. Already have a couple of these Camel Trophy figures from uh, American Diorama. But you never have enough figures. No. We'll do a short video with uh, these figures and then I will place them in a diorama with the Camel Trophy car. I think that's a cool idea. Then we have some Kaido House figures. I do have some Kaido House cars and I ordered a couple of more. And when you got some cars, you also need some figures. So we got two kits, Kaido kits. Uh, okay, let's do it like this. So 
here, uh, standing on a car or moving a tire. And we have this one right here. Much better than the ones from BM Creation, I have to say. Yeah, he's gonna have a little a beard and eyebrows. But eyes are very difficult. Yeah. Kaido Kid. And here another Kaido Kid. It feels very strong. Not still not sure if it's a diecast like American Diorama. Okay, my friends, this is it. I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please thumbs up, you really helped me with that. Okay, I'm going to clean up my mess, really important. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, happy hunting, bye.